Hello everyone, I'm Pepper5A, welcome you back for more Let's Play Warrior World. It's been a long while since I last recorded, it's been a long while since I recorded the last part, but in the last episode, we got 100% in all of the levels. We finished up the last level, Peak and Sands. In this episode, we're gonna go fight the boss of World 4 and hopefully find the final boss of the game. So, yep, this is a short game, guys, but um, I hope you have been enjoying the Let's Play. And Sparkle in Captain Skull shout out Captain Skull. Oh my god, memories of this thing. After going through Peak and Sands with my friends, after, like for an hour and a half, we would play this one. Oh god. You don't really need to pound them those. There you go. First hits in Captain Skull are really easy. The last two hits are the ones that are a little bit harder. Okay, so he's gonna do some weird stuff. He's gonna fire a moon at us. There you go. Another hit. Now make sure that you always make him hit something. Because if not, you're not gonna really damage him. You're just gonna go like that. Now be careful because the moon that he fires at you gonna destroy a lot and I just fell. Every time you fall will take half a heart out of you, so be careful with that. You can also try throwing stuff that he fires at you back. Um, that's pretty much it. You, you want to hit him. From this point on you really want to hit him before you can actually cross the line and try to get him. Like so. See? It's just gonna run. Yep, not gonna work. So, what you have to, what you have to do, of course, uh, if I can, maybe, dang it, I was not looking at my TV screen though. Yeah, be careful with that. Oh crap! Stop firing at me directly. Shit! Stop destroying my barrels. Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? You're taking a lot of life out of me. Matt hit ya, and there you go. As I told you, the last two hits are the hardest ones. The last hit is gonna be crazy because now I don't have any barrel barrels over here. He destroyed them all, it made me destroy the last ones. Be careful with the moon, as I said. Grab another hit. And then you just gotta wait. Whoa, 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 a third one. What the f friggin'. Okay, this is what you gotta do avoid all of those little bombs. And then just do something like this. There you go. Now just gotta climb back up to where he is. You gotta be fast though. Oh, crap, got back up. And that's not gonna be. Oh my god, I almost fell. Okay, run off. Crap, I fell. Ah, dang it. This this is by far the hardest boss in the game. Oh my god, I remember we almost always, my friends and I almost always fought to see who actually fought this guy, because, oh my god, it was horrible. Oh, Jesus. Come on. I'm, I'm down to three health now, if you can really believe that. Okay, I'm through here, now. here. Okay, Oh my god! Oh! There's two barrels over here, I should have used them. There's two down there as well. Oh my god, no! You're not... You're not... Ah, sh Well, at least that was garlic over there. Okay. Now, I need to... Ah, sh Dang it! Okay, this is taking a long while, guys, because I apparently am more stupid than I thought. Because I should have had the hits already, but I don't have them. Okay, dang it, dang it. Okay, got it. Oh, God. Okay, now he's gonna start firing at me. Dang it. Well, the other one had garlic, and these are fire, which I don't like very much. Don't really appreciate that, but... Okay, let me see if I can... Oh, dang it. Yeah, but I gotta be faster with this. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is not good. 
Whoa, that was close. Jesus Christ, Grandma! I am not doing that again. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Don't really appreciate you firing at me. Okay, hope this works this time. Okay, did it alright? Go up. Go up. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Here you go! Boss defeated! Oh my god, that took way longer than it should have. I was really quiet for a while there as well, so... There you go! ba da ba boom ha <laughs> Mirror Mansion in Pekin Sands 100% and we are now leaving World 4. Haha! <laughs> of course, we leave, get a complete health recovery, and... Ta-da! The last of the keys! So, saving. And now we're going out. There you go. Okay guys, so... Normally... After a boss, I would end the episode, but we're just six minutes in. Told you we we're gonna face the last boss in the game, so the final boss in the game. Here we are. All of these I will cover in a separate video, like all of these mini games that are over here. You can actually play them in Game Boy Advance, but I will cover them in a separate video right now. Hello there, treasure chest. And remember that jewel that transformed everything in my castle to this? Time to finish it off! <laughs> yep, all the worlds that we traversed through go away. And we're left with only this thing. Now, see, this part actually plays a little bit different, which every playthrough you get depending on the times, uh, on the sprite links that you save. If you saved all the sprite links, all of these are gonna be sprite links. If you fail to save one, uh, at the very least, there will be boxes uh, instead of sprite links. Well, one box instead of a sprite link. If you didn't rescue any but the one that is necessary, you will have all boxes except for one sprite link. So, there is a little bit of, um, you know, it does affect what you do in the game, does affect this last boss at the very least. And a really minor thing, like, doesn't matter if you see spread links instead of boxes, I mean, it just isn't really that important. But, I mean, it does affect a little bit, uh, just if you wanted to know if there's a difference. There's three endings to the game. Uh, one of you didn't rescue any spread links apart from the first one. One for you getting all of the sprite links, and one for you getting not all of the sprite links. We're trying to save them all, and that's just what it is. There's three different endings. Of course, the let's play shows you how to get the best ending, as I got everything of everything. Oh my god, I got burned. Oh my Jesus, why did you become so good at firing at me? So you're just gonna go around doing that. There you go. You'll have to go around destroying the sprite links in order to defeat the boss. Okay. And yes, there's no there's no problem if you step out of the uh, platform. As you can see, it doesn't really matter if you stand in the middle. It just it just appears to be hollow, but no, you can actually walk on it. And another one of these in test seven two. Now, for the boss is really simple. I mean, uh, as I told you, Captain Whatever was the hardest boss in the game. At least for me. I don't know if anyone found any other boss harder. But, um, Worlds 3 and 4 have the more challenging bosses. World 1 is not really that challenging. Uh, World 2 is kind of challenging the way that you have to hit before a certain time so that the dragons don't spit fire at you. And then there's the final boss. Not really the hardest one. Oh crap, dang it. Get up! Oh no. Why did you... Why did you do that? Okay, anyways, now you saw all the attacks that the jewel has to offer. The jewel will attack with fire. Of course, you've already seen it. 
caused by its lasers. Um, and you will... Oh my god. And if you get trapped, it will attack with more and more fire. Even trying to trap you even in an, in an hour's pace after a while. So that you can barely miss its attacks. So, um, sorry if I sound a little bit tired. It's like, uh, it's 9 a.m. But I have not gotten used to the yeah, so, um Try to trap me in a really narrow space. So, um, it's like 8 in the morning. No, 9, nine in the morning. But I have not yet, yet been used to the time zone, the time, anything, something or other. Um, so I have yet to do that. Um, my editing schedule has changed a little bit because I, at 10 p.m. I'm almost already uh, fast asleep. So, um, oh, that's the last attack. It's one. One way for each color of sprite link. Had forgotten about it since it didn't do it any at any moment. But there you go. You saw all of the attacks. We saw all this, and we will finish the jumble off with one of these. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Twenty-five. Oh, twenty-three, and have a rotten day. <laughs> and goodbye goes the jewel. <laughs> yep. I win! I win! <laughs> That's what he said. And after destroying the jewel, all the magic goes out. You will see all the spritlings coming around. Hey there, spritlings. If you left anyone, those would be boxes. Uh, some of them. You did! You, def you did it! You defeated all the evil monsters! Everything will be alright now. Wario, we're saved. Thank you. The evil black jewel has been smashed to powder. The monsters won't come back now, but even if they do, I think we can handle them. As a reward, we're going to rebuild your ruined castle. We sprite links aren't that strong, so without a lot of us, I doubt we can rebuild your castle right, but we'll do our best with what we have. Here goes. We have all the sprite links. So now we're gonna... Watch them dance. Watch them dance. Right, right, left, right, and left. Hey, that was right. <laughs> it's a really silly dance, but... Well, the more you have, the better you do. <laughs> really weird <laughs> GameCube graphic rendering over there, but... There you go! That was Warrior World. The staff credits, here we are. Programming, Yoshiyuki, Matsumoto, Kanta Watanabe, Yuji Yamanaka, Tahei, Katagai, Yusuke Sai. The design, of course, well, I'm not gonna read all of these names. So, um, that was it for the story of Warrior World. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure as heck enjoyed uh, enjoyed myself while doing this. This was my uh, one of my childhood favorite games. I grew up uh, playing this with my friends, uh, we took turns, we were fighting all the time to see who would fight the bosses, especially Captain Whatever, <laughs> I, never I never learned his name. Um, the first time I got 100% was like 5 years ago, um, just because every time, every single time I play, Peek and Sans would get in my way. It's really hard to get 100% if you don't really know where stuff is or you don't really know how to get it. And of course, uh, World 3-1 always got in my way as well. It's really hard to get 100% that you have to go through it a couple of times to be able to get everything. But, um, in the end, I really enjoyed the Let's Play. Um, editing was not really harsh on me, so I did enjoy my time while editing as well. And, I mean, I just enjoyed myself a lot. Re uh, reviving some of my, my dearest memories from my childhood, remembering some friends, and getting to share this experience with you guys. So, after the credits, all rights, including the copyrights of game series, music, and program reserved by Nintendo. Don't you ever forget that, guys. I don't own any of the characters or anything that this message right here says shown in my videos except for my boys. Um, Nintendo pretty much owes, owns everything that I've been showing. This was uh, developed by Treasure Video Games, published by Nintendo. Well, along both of them worked alongside. Of course. Yep. 
And after this little screen, of course, we get our castle back. Yep. That's it. That's the stuff. Now, that's the kind of place a guy like me deserves. <laughs> Well, there you go. So that was Warrior World. Uh, let me show you pictures of the castles you would get if you didn't find all the sprite links or if you didn't even save a sprite link. So I'm going to let myself do an intermission right here while I'm showing the pictures. Uh, the pictures vary in between the quantity of sprite links that you saved in between 0, uh, zero 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, I mean 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and of course uh, I'm between 30 and 39 and the castle that I got is for all 40 sprite links I think it's 40 so I'm just gonna leave thank you there you go and that's it so thank you guys so very much for watching don't forget to comment rate the video and subscribe it really helps a lot um, and I will see you guys next let's play which you already know will be Donkey Kong Country Returns so See you guys!